Palm Sunday, also called Passion Sunday, here be second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians, chapter 2, verses 6 to 11. Jesus Christ, although he shared God's nature, he did not try to seize equality with God for himself, but emptied himself, took on the form of a slave, and became like a man, not in appearance only, for he humbled himself by accepting death, even death on a cross. For this, for this God has raised him high and given him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee will bend in heaven, on earth, and under the earth, and every tongue will proclaim Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If there are indeed in Christ Jesus, they should share His spirit of humility, and humility means denying self for the sake of serving others. If Christian indeed are in Christ, they should serve others. They should share in the humility of Christ. Christ did not selfishly grasp, grasp for the supreme glory of heaven, even though it was his by right, for he was God. Rather, he became a servant for the sake of sinful humankind. He became a man and accepted the restrictions and hardship that human nature placed upon him. But unlike all other members of the human race, he did not sin. Jesus was like us in everything, feeling, acting, but he did not know sin. He entered the world of human beings in order to save human beings from their sins. As a servant, he spent his early life doing whatever his father required. Even when the cup was so bitter, he still did what his father's will was. Even though it meant that he suffered and eventually died on a cross. Only after his humility, suffering and death was Christ raised to the place of supreme glory. The honor that he refused to seek by selfish ambition was given to him in even greater measure because of his humility and obedience. One day all people, angels and demons, will acknowledge that he is Lord. So to us, when we humble ourselves and work for humanity and work for nature, bring back the glory of nature and the dignity of humankind and the dignity of nature, we shall have glory ourselves. More than anybody would believe, even not ourselves, because God will put that glory in us, and His glory is the supreme glory. God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good.